So from one single prompt, I was capable of installing necessary packages like ShatCN, and it was capable of building a full customer management application where you can export your data, export as a JSON, and you can even add customers. This is the capability that you get with SRC Book. A new day means a new AI coding agent. Allow me to introduce a new open source alternative to Bolt.new that is completely free and local that's called SRC Book. SRC Book is a TypeScript centric app development platform. It allows you to create and iterate on web apps incredibly fast using AI as a pair programmer. It can create or edit web apps and it can also write and execute backend code through an interactive notebook interface. It's something that you can get started with locally as well. You can build apps, deploy them, use AI to generate the boilerplate, modify the code, and even debug it. Now you may be wondering, what is the main difference between Bolt.new and SRC Book? Well, right away, the main thing about SRC Book is that it is a TypeScript-centric app development platform. That basically means that it's able to focus on modern web applications using TypeScript. It's capable of assisting you in tasks like generating boilerplates with TypeScript code, editing it, and leveraging TypeScript static typing for a smoother and safer coding experience. Plus, on top of all of this, SRC is an open source framework, which is great as it's extendable further and it allows you to incorporate other open source models to it. Now, Bolt, however, is an all in one full stack development experience that you can access within the web browser. Not saying that you can't with SRC as you definitely could with their web browser based uh, platform, but with Bolt.new, it streamlines the full process of also developing everything and deploying through the web. To showcase its capabilities, just take a look at what it was capable of generating. You can see from the prompt, there was just a single prompt sent in to create a Netflix style movie browsing uh, interface and from here you can see that it's capable of generating this beautiful app within just one prompt and its image support feature is actually quite insane as you can take a screenshot of a web page paste it into src book and you can say just build it and in this case you can see that it was capable of replicating all the components for that web page and this is something that's better than most apps are capable of doing with SRC, there's two main components. You have the app builder and then you have the notebooks. The app builder is an AI powered tool that's tailored for TypeScript development. It's gonna be used to help you create, edit, and run web apps, as well as generating boilerplates for debugging and refining existing code. It also has hot reloading web preview, which is where you have a live preview of your application, like you would with Bolt as well as Anthropics artifacts. Now with notebooks, this is a component which is gonna bring a unique interactive layer to coding. It's something that's gonna combine the power of local execution with flexibility of a notebook style deployment. So this is where you have an interactive TypeScript execution where you can write and run TypeScript code in the notebook interface that's powered by node.js. And this will enable execution with the responsive web uh, interface. You also have Markdown integration, where you're gonna be exposed to valid Markdown formats and an AI-assisted exploration. You also have rich value annotations, which is gonna be a way for you to leverage tools like Mermaid's diagrams to add diagrams and visual explanations for your flows. So now what we're gonna be doing is showcasing how you can get started with SRC Book. You can install this locally as into your machine as a CLI application with a web interface, or you can access this through the web-based terminal. Now, this is where we're gonna now explore the prerequisites. You're gonna need to make sure that you have an Anthropic API key. Now for the people hooking this up locally, you can also have it integrated with Olama as well as with other local models. Now you can use VS Code to configure the API keys. You need to make sure that you have Git installed to help you clone the repository onto your computer. You need to make sure that you have uh, the node version manager uh, package installed. You need to make sure that you have Python installed as well as node.js. Now, once you have all of these prerequisites fulfilled, we can get started. What I want you guys to do is head over to the GitHub repository link in the description below, scroll all the way to the top and click on this green button and copy this link to clipboard. 
and I'll leave all the links in the description below. But once you have copied it, go back to this block and open up your uh, command prompt. Now, once you have opened this up, simply type in git clone and then paste in the link and click enter. This will start cloning this repository onto your local computer. And once it has finished cloning, you can then go into the SRC book by typing in CD SRC book. And then you can then go back into the GitHub repository using NPN, copy this command, and then go back into this uh, command prompt and paste it in. So this is where it's going to start installing the necessary packages. I'll ask you to proceed. So simply go ahead and press Y, and then you're going to be able to get started by installing the necessary packages for this framework. You can also use PM equivalent to get this started. And there's a lot of different examples that you can use to use this within your client. Now you can see in our command prompt that it has opened it up within our local host and we can start interacting with the app builder as well as the notebook. So what you want to do actually first is go over to settings and you're going to go ahead and paste in your API key. Right now you can see that you can provide an OP, open AI, uh, Anthropic as well as XAI, as well as a custom API key. This is where you can add things like Olama as a local host for your LM provider. But in this case, I believe Anthropic's Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model is the best for this particular use case. So go ahead and paste in your API key. Once you have pasted in your API key, you can see that you can either create a new notebook, you can generate a notebook or even import one. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and create a new app from scratch. So what we're going to do now is create a Patreon web app. Now, this is where we're going to be replicating this Patreon page and we're going to try to create all the components as to how it looks basically within this page. So we're going to go ahead and create this Patreon app and we're going to describe what we want to create. So this is the prompt I have, a Patreon app where people can subscribe to users for their exclusive content. We're going to go ahead and click on create. So then we can then have it generate the application and you can see right away, it's going to start installing the packages for you, the base packages for your app. And then it's going to start developing the necessary things like a landing page, a subscription tier card, a simple content feed, and much more. So we're going to go ahead and have it generate through all the different pre required plans. And once it has finished doing everything, we can then review the changes. So you can see all the different file edits that have been made, all the different blocks that it was capable of creating, and it will also lay out the certain edits that need to be done. You can also undo changes, but in this case, we're going to go ahead and proceed forward. So we have this tier list where you can select it, and you can also see that it has built the home page. But now what we're going to be doing is just feeding over a screenshot of this Patreon page and having it replicate it. I just simply provided the screenshot and I'm going to request it to please replicate the screenshot. So let's send in this uh, image and let's see what it's capable of generating. And there we go. We have a good page being replicated. We have a membership tab, collection, homepage, and all the buttons created. But we're going to refine it and make it so that it's better. And there we go. It was capable of generating a better version of the Patreon page. Now, if you are to compare it, you can see that obviously it's not exactly the same, but it is fairly accurate in terms of what it was capable of generating. Now, you can do exactly the same thing as you would be able to with Bolt.new. You can view all the code. You have all the files that it was capable of generating, the tier card. You have a preview of it as well. You also have the ability to install packages. You can add packages as well. You can also add various notebooks that you can build with this beautiful application. And see if you want to open this in a new tab, you could. You can also stop the dev server and you can even download the code for the application or that you have generated. Now, what we're going to be doing is building a CRM application using TypeScript and React. Let's see what it's capable of doing in terms of the generation. We're going to see if it's capable of following along with our instructions, which is to add and edit, delete customer entries, displaying list of customers with uh, name, email, etc including a form for adding and editing customer details and using a search bar to filter customers. So let's see if it's capable of developing a responsive UI with basic styling. And there we go. We have the first preview of the CRM 
application where you're going to be able to add customers name email phone number and notes so i'm going to request it to actually install the chat cn packages so you can see that by just giving an instruction it's going to go ahead and install the necessary components needed to develop the front end even better and i also request it to try your best to make it look a little bit more appealing and add more components to this customer management app and there we go we can see right away that it was capable of including the chat cn packages you have the color change and you have more components being added you have the ability to add more things to this list and you're going to be able to better utilize this application now so from one single prompt i was capable of installing necessary packages like chat cn and it was capable of building a full customer management application where you can export your data export as a json and you can even add customers this is the capability that you get with src Book. in my opinion this is definitely a great alternative that you should take a look at it's still fairly early to evaluate this but definitely recommend that you try it out it's something that is fairly small not a lot of people know about it so i definitely recommend that you try this out because this is a really really cool option that will help you build full stack applications with the help of ai huge props to the developers so definitely take a look at their twitter uh links in the description below but with that thought guys make sure you guys follow me on the patreon so that you can stay up to date with the latest ai subscriptions follow me on twitter a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas